Hi, uh, this video is about while loop in a lab view. So while loop execute code inside the border uh, two ways. Uh, the first one is the conditional terminal is stop if true and another one is the conditional terminal continue if true. So you can use either of this uh, method based on your requirement. A uh, lab view check the conditional terminal at the end of each iteration and uh, iteration stop or continue based on the value of the conditional terminal. So if you look at uh, this one, so this is what while loop look like. Um, this is the iteration icon. Uh, this one, the red button here is a conditional terminal and uh, stop if true. So if this condi if condition inside the while loop uh, became true, then this loop will stop and ex uh, it will exit. Um, this one here, in this one, uh, conditional, if condition is true, the loop will keep continue um, and when this condition become false, then it will stop the loop. So let me give you the demo here. So let's say I, I this is my lab view and then I open the blank VI here. So once you open the black VI, um, uh, blank VI, uh, it will open the uh, these two window here. Okay, uh, so let me make it a little bit smaller here so I can open the function and control palettes here. Okay, so uh, to to draw the while loop, uh, you go in the uh, let me pin this uh, function palette here. So you go in the structure and then there is a while loop here. You just drag and drop here and uh, you draw according to uh, your requirement so I think this should be good enough so uh, what I want to do here is um, I want to uh, create one temperature simulator and the temperature will vary from 60 to 70 between that range so uh, to do that first thing I need the one of the random function here so I will go in the uh, mathematics here uh, and then I will pick the, the numeric uh, and then I will pick the random here so this is a random number now next thing I am going to multiply it by 10 so I will need uh, this multiply here uh, and then I just uh, connect with the wire tool here I will create one constant and then I am going to multiply it by 10 so what happened that um, this random number it will uh, it will be between um, uh, zero to one, and then you are multiplying. Okay, and then uh, then I want to uh, make it. Uh, let's see, I want to round to nearest zero here. So I will uh, bring here, and then I just connect. So now this will um, let's say a number come out to be eight point five, and then it will make it eight. So once you have that one, um, I want to add 60 in it because I want to make the range from 60 to 70 and this output here up to this point it will be between um, 0 to 10. So let's say I want to add 60 here so I will bring this one uh, addition I will connect here uh, second one will be I create constant and that constant will be uh, 60 so now um, I get the temperature here between 60 to 69 and then here I want to create uh, I want to see that so I will create um, one indicator and that will create the indicator here I can rename as a uh, temperature okay and now I also want to let's say um, so if I go, uh, go back here in my close this one for if I go here I will see my temperature in a number so I can bring it in the middle next thing here I want to get the thermometer here so let me push uh, in the control palette and then I will go here and then uh, go modern and this is the thermometer I will bring the thermometer here 
so now I can see the the temperature going up and down on this thermometer okay so okay now going back to the diagram now I need to connect this thermometer to this wire loop so I will just uh, use the again wire tool here and then okay, okay. so now uh, we have this wire loop um, now the condition here if you right click loop condition you can right click here and it will show you stop if true continue if true so if I connect this is continue on true so let's see first I will show stop if true and then now I want to create one control to this one so I say okay uh, create control you know I can use the toggle switch that will be better so let me get rid of this one I will go here in palette and then um, I will go one toggle switch so you can see on and off and this one will be uh, simulation on and off I can give it name uh, back to diagram uh, I will see that control here and then I will use that toggle switch to connect to the control here so right now is off in condition here say ok loop condition and it says stop if true so um, uh, this loop will continue until I turn on this switch ok so we can see that one here before I do that I just need to make one timing element here so I go at some some time interval here instead of going um, very fast uh, let's say and then uh, millisecond to wait here so uh, create control and let's say uh, that millisecond I can set here ok so I can bring this is the time interval it will do the data capture or it will run the loop after this much time milliseconds so uh, if I put 100 milliseconds that will be uh, one second here ok so I think that's pretty much I'm done here now let me uh, run this ok so as you can see here uh, let me close this one the temperature is going up and down and you can see here now this is the stop if true that's the condition so as soon as I turn this switch on it will stop here oops oh uh, I know uh, this one you have to uh, this one is a continuous mode uh, you have to run only once ok and uh, once I turn this switch on it should stop as you can see it will break the while loop and it will stop the simulation here ok uh, so that's the uh, first while loop um, so it says stop if true let me do it again so right now uh, I leave this button off position so and I will run it so simulation is running right now and it says stop if true so if I make this one up that is true condition and then, then it will stop the while loop ok so that's the first while loop the way and then second one I can change this one here uh, continue if true ok so now here this one will continue true that means it keep running uh, till this condition is on ok so I can uh, run here now you can see uh, this is condition is true here as you can see in the block diagram and now uh, once I go back if I turn this switch off and you stop the simulation so uh, hopefully you like this video if you like it subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching bye